I love black. Like I, my girlfriend tell me, um, do you have any other black? I mean, any other clothes <laughs> besides black and um, black shoes and like all different versions of black? I just like wearing black. I think I have mm. a couple little pink sweaters here and there, but um, pat black. Mm. I'm just so cut black or white. That's where I like. Mm -hmm. It's I easy. Like, it's easy. Mm -hmm. I like white too, but I like um, I like black. I'm not a like colorly, flowerly person as yet. That's even you know something, but you know I think we need to get some new jackets. Maybe y'all uh, Celestial design something for us, and then we can probably get something um for this you know coming into this the fall for next year. Get another type. We of jacket. have some fans that want those, some of those jackets too. You know. Yeah. So, you know, we can, you know, update it because um, every time I look at the J, Chanti got her jacket on. I wear mine everywhere. I got the, bait, the the gray one and the black one I wear everywhere. I know folks are tired of me wearing it. What's that? What you and people about? ask you, don't they? They ask you. They're like, what's that? Oh, do we, have, do we have a QR code? Okay, let's talk about something else, but I see that all. <laughs> Come on, I got a QR code for myself. Like, you want my cash in? QR code. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this topic, you know, may have a lot of different arms on it, but we just going to get right to the point. Do you think that being married, you are protected? Oh, in a sense. Uh -huh. So, do we want to elaborate on when we talk about protected? I'll just tell you what I think protected is. Um, I think that if you're married, protection to me would be that um, I have um, um, how can I say it? I would think that you know the assets would be partially mine. You know what I mean? Even if um my name is not on it, you know, because sometimes your name may not be on it. It may be something that came from, you know, the person in choir this or in in um the part of their life when they weren't married, you know what I mean? So um I think that I would have that part of the assets um would belong to me, you know. Um I think that um security and I mean security in every sense of the word that I can make decisions for you know my spouse and for you know um the, our children and you know even if they're you know bonus children we can I can make decisions for them. and it won't be um outside entities making decisions for us mm -hmm. so that's what I think of protection um when I think of um like emotionally no I think that people are who they are. You know what I mean? I think that marriage is, is, is a symbolic symbol under God. And that, you know, that does not still mean that the person is going to be godly or do things that you want them to do, you know, um, because I can say for myself, I've been married before, you know what I mean? So hell y'all know that ain't work out. I ain't in jail. So, um, you know, I'm just, you know, I just think that when it comes to the emotional part of it, that's not something that, um, I'm guaranteed to have because I'm married. But that's my aspect. Keisha. I think that um uh, it should be. However, um it just depends on how, how you have things set up. Yes, you should be protected um uh, legally. Um uh as far as if you have to go to court, you don't have to testify against your spouse. So that's one thing. Hopefully you don't have to do that. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Um, but um, medically, because you should, you should have, you you should, and and these things need to be discussed. You should have um, could be um, a medical issue, and you have to um, write some responsibility, um, financially. Um, so it just depends on on how you have things set up. But yes, I think you can be protected, and I think you should be. Short answer. 
Chelsea? Um, I believe that there are some benefits, many benefits to, to being married. Um, I'll phrase it that way, right? Um, because uh, those protections, I think, I think are being, are synonymous with the benefits, right? Uh -huh. So um, one, of course, all of this is if you have it set up this way, uh -huh. is just because you're married and things are going to work out that way. You got to take into consideration the state that you live in and what the rules and the laws are as far as beneficiaries and things like that, being mm -hmm. that I work in the insurance industry. But I think that it is very important to know if you have gays and stuff that are out here fighting for it, there must be some sort of benefit or protection for, uh, yeah. regarding marriage, right? So from a financial perspective, like you said, um, having things set up in a certain type of way, tax protections um, because you're married, um, decisions, medical decisions that have to be made so that you, like you said, for people who aren't married, they have to have it in writing and be very clear who has the responsibility. You have to have this conversation with them about how you want things done and um, making sure that it is done and someone that you trust and um, all of that. So that's supposed to be what that other person is about, right? And, and you have these things set up and they know what your desires are and um, they'll be protected if something happens to you and they'll be taken care of, or at least the house will be paid off and certain things will be, will be done. So yeah, I believe that there are benefits. I have seen people that have lived together for many years. And this ties into a question that we posted on our um, Facebook page and asking why stay in relationships so long without marriage. You know, marriage isn't for, for everybody, but you have to have things still set up. Mm -hmm. A woman and a man live together for 15 years and they feel like husband and wife. Something you can't get anything. They die, honey, you will find out what people really thought about you all this time because they will start coming Mm -hmm. stuff and taking control over especially them. those kids taking cars and taking this <laughs> <laughs> you, don't have legal right. you don't have yeah. the legal right yeah. you don't have any legal right yeah. you know i know in pennsylvania they no longer i think um you know um what was it called common law common husband law. and wife is yeah, no longer years. recognized or whatever but you know so then now what protection do you have you brought things together and so now you got to split it or he he or she was really married to somebody else on paper and y'all been living together all this time. Now you got to split it with the other now spouse. You get nothing. Yeah, but you think about how many people. So let's go ahead before I start going rambling. So there, there definitely is after being married so long. I, I felt like I feel like, yeah, there's a lot of protection on being married to someone. And I've heard a lot of horror, horror, horror stories recently about people in that same situation, Chauncey, where, you know, everybody knew they were together 13, 15, 20 years. And as soon as something happened, those kids and those family members, I mean, they just mm -hmm. showed out. Yeah. 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 The best showed out. Best. Showed out. Yes. I but I will tell you that after just recently going through something similar mm -hmm. to this, and not being married to the person mm -hmm. and being dating them since 2010, I was labeled as the one. And when it popped off, I was like, all right, well, I'm not the wife. And it was like, uh-uh. <laughs> they said, everything's on you. Um, you need to make some decisions. Uh, yeah, he needs to get dressed. You need to pick out a casket. I mean, everything. Um, and I was, I was honored to be able to do it but I really was prepared to step back and go, they're just going to take advantage of me. I don't have any papers. Um, it's going to be okay. But they really did include me and gave me pretty much, yeah. very much right. all the respect. Yes, yeah. good and people, people, good people. That's good people. Well, and it's a labor of love. Uh -huh. Also, love. they loved... They loved him, so they wanted to make sure they knew that I was the closest to him. And yeah, so yeah, so I, I guess it, it's it's a safety in it, but you know, it could be nicely done if people are amenable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. Yep, I agree yeah. wholeheartedly. Again, because yeah. if you get the opposite of what you got, 
Girl, it becomes, I have seen people get kicked out of their homes, homes yeah. that they have decorated, established, yeah. things fixed, because your girl, name, uh -huh. the paperwork, because you wasn't legal, all of that. So, yeah. And you know what? It could, and another scenario, say you are married to the person, say that person um, is sick and, and is going to die. And then the children, you have an agreement, but your children don't know the agreement that you have and that could be an issue the reason why i brought this up is because i know when my my dad was getting ready to transition matter of fact it was last night <clears throat> alive and so me and my mom was going to the hospital and she said well you know keisha um that he um um it's no resuscitation and i said okay because i knew that they had an agreement now, I could have said, why are you not going to do this for dad and all this kind of stuff? But I was like, you all discuss this. You all know your plan. I'm just uh -huh. here to help support your plan. But see, uh -huh. sometimes it doesn't work out that way. Uh -huh. nope. That the plan that you have, the kids have something different or they feel like you didn't do something or uh -huh. do enough or whatever. So you have those. But um, again, so that is a protection when you have things in writing for that. Yes. And oftentimes it's not the kids. You know who it is? It's the siblings and the parents that oh, have yeah. that that your child. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. That become a hot mess yeah. real quick. Like, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. you're 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 not even considered the immediate family anymore. So you need to like go find a, a quick seat and sit in it because you know, people can just <laughs> destroy everything. You see what I'm saying? Just acting ugly and and well, I know. I mean, I could just tell you, I had, when my grandma died, I had one of her siblings even go to my brother and say, well, I'm, I'm, I'm offended that you took her, um, her and my aunt to this certain undertaker because it was like a family undertaker. But by that point, that family undertaker was going downward. So my brother made the, the, the legal decision that he could, because my grandma left him in charge to do so, to send her okay. where she would be put put away the best okay but family members brothers and sisters of her who was still alive was making comments even down to what dress we put on her y'all know she like blue okay i need you to stop and i need you to go away okay but if you don't have this you know and right and believe me the, the the strangest things can happen you know what i mean the strangest yeah. things and don't let's not talk about life insurance policies oh my god you know people just they come after 50 cent if they think they could get it. It's just, it's foolish, foolery. I mean, really it is. So I have a quick story to share with you. There's a married couple, second marriage, uh -huh. first marriage, the children, bear children, children are grown. Mm -hmm. The gentleman passes away and they get to the funeral home and they say, he's divorced. He's never, he's, he's not married. Just not even acknowledging the new wife, right? She got paperwork, so no big deal. But you know what kind of paperwork is involved? Getting that death certificate changed in the middle of grieving. And she yeah. got to pull out her paperwork. And these yep. people have to be notified yep. because they were the informants. Yep. They're a whole hot mess. That's why. And that, that evil. Falls, and that falls on the due diligence of the people performing the the the, the work for you. That funeral home and all Whoever's of that. Whoever's paying get the talk. Yeah, well, but the thing is, you still, you think that, right? You would think that, it's but terrible. if they come back and they sue you, it, it just turns into so it's much. And so for me, that's where the whole protection and benefit of, of being married comes in. It don't mean it's going to be perfect, but right, it's still, no, yeah. on. and those couples, again, who have lived apart for 25 years, but don't have papers, don't think something mm -hmm. happened to that other person and you don't want to get the first phone call. I ain't been working for five years. Yeah, but you never did your paperwork. So now you're the one that's mm -hmm. responsible for taking care of A, B, C. And how many people is jumping up to pay for funerals and take care of all the work mm -hmm. that has to come along mm -hmm. with? Mm -hmm. Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> <baby. laughs> You're right. You're right. You're right. That's a good. You I know, think when foolishness come out, that's the prime time when foolishness come out. Tell always you. say death brings out the best and the worst of it. So Celeste, I am so grateful that you had a, a better experience. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that you dealt with a family that was just really above board because that Very, is not most people's yeah. experience. It was so surprising. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm glad that because you know it's just it's very it's very hard to grieve and then have to be in a combative situation with people who know they don't really have the authority to do things. You know what I mean? Yeah. Why make things so difficult? Yeah. Aren't we in a hard period as it stands? You know what I mean? Gosh, sometimes you can't even grieve. You got to wait to grieve later and handle the chaos. You know what I mean? So um, it's bad yeah. enough when it happens fast and it's unexpected. But imagine when it kind of lingers and that person is, it takes a while to transition and all. it just gets so ugly. So I just feel like those protections and having those conversations with your family and with your kid, your adult children and stuff is just very important. Tell them mm-hmm. what your desires are so that when it's Tell time them. to come together, everybody's like, you know what? Mom and dad told us how they want to do things. They they said how, and then is backed up by being on paper. It's nothing wrong Absolutely. with it. Absolutely. But I think collectively as a community, we always think it's morbid to talk about that thing. When we all know we- It's necessary. Point, it's necessary necessary yes, and guess what we ain't gonna be late for it either those of us that be late and stuff all that we ain't gonna be late for that appointment <laughs> you're gonna be on time you're gonna be that's you're the only way out of here you're gonna be casket <laughs> sharp looking good going up on going going up being on time you ain't you may not want to be on time but you're gonna be on time yeah so i mean yes. final thoughts is Thanks. Yeah, put it on, and I'm going to steal yours, Chauncey. Just make sure it's in writing and make sure that everybody's aware of it. Having it in writing and not making sure that they're clear with it is in writing. And this is what I want done. The, don't act like you don't know what's going on. Put it somewhere so they can find it and, and you know, make it less as dra- much drama as possible for them after you've gone. Yeah. Or even if you're still here and you can't, Take care of yourself. Just put it in writing. Yeah, for sure. Uh, same thing here. I just think put it in writing. Let it be known. Respect those in the positions that they're in. They're there for a reason. And don't try to make someone less than who they were to the person that we're talking about. So um, respect mm-hmm. that. And like I said, the protections as far as marriage is concerned, if you don't want to get married, don't get married but still have your stuff in place so that um, those that you care about can take care of your business and can take care of themselves. Isha? Uh, my advice, the same as you ladies, I would just say, um, don't wait. Don't wait. You know, these things need to be done. And I'm, I'm being just talking to myself, some things that I need to put in place. Do it. Do it. Do not wait until it's too late. And my final thoughts is, um, for those who don't want to be married, and that's all fine and good, just be in the understandable mind that, you know, you may not get to make any decisions. You know what I mean? Because marriage is not just about, really, let's keep it real. It's not just about I love you and you love me. It's like everything that comes along with it. Like even when the person passed, you got to think about it. You, you're still responsible for their debt at the married person. You're tied to them. You know what I mean? So if you're not, you know what I mean? Think about it. You know, think about what it is and you're going to have to live with what that decision is because that is a decision. Um, And I agree with you ladies. Please make sure that you are taking care of your business. You know what I mean? Because I don't know who used to say this, but if it's not in writing, then it's like it just, it doesn't happen. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. Right. Doesn't matter. So, you know, and I think when somebody, I think if somebody dies suddenly, you may run into a circumstance because, you know, no one has control over that. But I think that if you know that you're at a point where things could happen, like because of age, you know what I mean? Um, and you don't prepare, then you're subject to whatever is going to be going on that may not be your wishes after you go. You know what I mean? So great episode, ladies. So um, thank you. So who's joining us tonight? It's your girl, Celeste. And don't forget, taking care of oneself is not self. It's just necessary. Absolutely. You're on mute. <laughs> this is your girl, Chauncey. <laughs> Take care of your mental health. <laughs> I think Chauncey wants to put it in writing. <laughs> put it in writing. <laughs> or record it. Record <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. This that is your girl, Keisha. Uh, remember to learn and grow in your own lane. Mm-hmm.
And I'm your girl, Kimmy. And have a wonderful week on purpose. Join us every Wednesday when we drop a new episode. So have a great week on purpose. We'll see you next Wednesday. Take care.